welcome back to another vlog. It's Wednesday. I'm about to film some outfits. That's why I'm still in my PJs. I have them laid out and I'm going to pair them with my Uggs, my platforms, and then my Tasmans. I have two cargo pant outfits and then this outfit is from Aerie. I bought this bucket hat from Marshalls like oof, maybe two seasons ago and I still haven't worn it so I thought it would go with this outfit perfectly. Hopefully it does because I haven't tried it on yet. And yes, those are my Christmas PJs in the corner over there because I wore them last night. Don't judge me. Second outfit down, just one more to go. I need to wear this out ASAP or at least get some Pinterest pics in it because I'm really loving it. I'm really loving all of these outfits I picked out. Third outfit complete. I'm so happy with all of my outfits and I am going to start editing them now. Hopefully I can finish editing all three of them within the next couple of hours. And that's the plan for the rest of the day. I have a larger mirror. This is like my jewelry mirror. It's so small. I got this like a few years ago. Um, it's so obsolete but super dated. Um, I have another one coming in the mail from TikTok shop and I'm really excited about it because I wanna put it right here where this one is and I wanna just get rid of this mirror. Um, I have been wanting like a larger full length mirror for a Alexa, stop. I was playing Taylor Swift while I was filming, but I'm going to replace this mirror with the full length mirror that I get off of TikTok shop. That should be coming in the mail any day now. I don't have a tracking number for it, but I'm really excited about that. And yeah, this is my setup. The sun shines perfectly on this wall, like around three o'clock. So that's why I decided to shoot my outfits at three o'clock today. And it gave me the perfect lighting. This is my phone setup. I just use the mirror to kind of see myself. It's a little hack. So when I'm back here filming, doing my thing, I can see myself in the mirror right here. You can't really see because the lighting is not that good back there, but I can just make sure that I'm in frame because of the mirror and all that, so. Happy Friday. I spent this morning editing Sunday's vlog and right now I am trying to figure out where I want to hang this disco ball in my bedroom because the sun comes in here and I don't know why. Oh my god, look how pretty it looks when the sun hits it. I don't know why I've had this in my bathroom the whole time. I bought it from Marshalls for like less than $20 and um, you couldn't even really see it in any of my videos, my hair tutorials and stuff. I bought some fishing wire off of Amazon and I am going to tie it to the disco ball so it actually hangs down and the sun hits it. But it's like 240 and the sun's pretty high right now so I want to wait until like maybe around four or five when the sun kind of comes in this way. I'm hoping I can put it like up here in the corner. I'm obsessed. I want to get another one for our living room. That might be doing too much but I'm always out here doing too much so I have a couple hours before the sun hits just right. I think I'm gonna try to film a TikTok when I do that too. I finally ended up getting approved for this Dr. Dennis Gross face mask that I have been wanting for months. So I'm so excited, I'm so happy. Um, I'm just waiting for this to ship and I'll get a notification when that happens. I talked to my sister on the phone and she said that she wants the Dyson that they gifted me for my bachelorette back. So I'm gonna send that back to her probably by sometime next week because I am not looking forward to seeing how much it's gonna cost to ship because it is pretty heavy. And I also have the Dyson straightener that I'm just gonna throw in there with it because I never straighten my hair because I have layers, it just doesn't look right. So that'll be a nice surprise. There's no point in me having two air wraps and then the air straight, I like only used it that one time that I made a video for it. So it's about time I give it to someone who will actually use it. And and my sister loves styling her hair, so it's perfect. I know she'll definitely use it and it won't just collect dust. I've been needing new pans for the longest time. It's actually kind of embarrassing and our place was running a sale. It's like their early Black Friday sale and their pans are like 40% off. So I decided to hop on that and I got this little bundle here. It was 175 for two and they normally go for 270. So I thought that was a really good deal. And I just got them both in black because I love the black aesthetic, but they have really pretty colors to choose from. They have a lavender, a really pretty sage color, 
I could have mixed and matched the colors, but I ended up making an airy order too because they were also having a sale. And then I found a 15% off coupon for the things that were excluded from the sale. And I finally got myself some cute pajamas, the ones that I have been wanting, okay? Like, I just was like, I am not going to not have cute pajamas this year. So I got these to match Alexis. They're so cute and I saw that I think the large or the XL sold out so I was like you know what if I don't get these I'm probably gonna regret it and my size is gonna sell out so because I was trying to wait a little bit longer to see if they were gonna go on sale because these were excluded from the sale um but nothing was happening and uh, I was just too scared that they were gonna run out so I didn't want to chance that and then I also got these Cindy Lou Who pajamas. I just copy everything Alexis does because she got these two. I'm like, okay. So, and then I also got the shorts to go with it because I can have options, right? I got a gray pair and a brown pair because the other brown pair I have are the Gymshark leggings and they're just way too tight. I think I got a small one. I should have gotten a medium, um, but the airy quality is just the best. I'm about to film these two outfits with my cargo pants and my Tasmans. Happy Monday. I try not to vlog on the weekends. That's why I was MIA, but I washed my hair because I'm about to give myself a blowout with the new Dyson. This is her in all her glory. She is so pretty. So I'm gonna use this to dry my hair to about 80% and then I'm gonna use this barrel to curl it. I love the colorway on this new one. I thought it was just blue and orange, but there's also pink, which is my favorite. With the old Dyson, you had to use two separate attachments to curl your hair two separate ways but with this one you only need one which is really nice and you just switch this and it'll curl your hair the opposite way so it came with two different sized barrels i'm going to use the thicker one just because my hair is a little bit longer i don't want super tight curls and they also have an app that shows you how to use it which is really cool i was just watching some videos to make sure i'm going to use it right because i need to make a video i've already watched all these okay it's not amazing because i had to keep going over a few pieces like this one is becoming frizzy and curly again like it's going back to my natural hair texture um and then some pieces didn't really curl like what is that and my roots are still super kinky, um, but the Dyson can never get my roots. So I'm going to go in with a straightener probably tomorrow. I'm going to put some heatless curls in right now, though, because it's going to get rid of my frizz and fix my curl pattern because it's looking a little wonky. I always do this after I give myself a blowout. I'm going to do it again tonight, too. I do this every night when I straighten my hair, but my hair just doesn't look as good as it could, so... If this sits for about an hour, I think it's gonna look a lot better. Mm -hmm. I'm about to hang my disco ball because I didn't get around to it on Friday, but my curls already look so much better and they were only in for about an hour. Let's see. Let me see. So it has to hang like close to the window to be high. The last step is trying to figure out how I'm gonna tie the fishing wire. I think I got it. It's pretty heavy, so I really hope I got it. Let's hang it up. Where's the sun? Sun disappeared. Ah. 
Happy Tuesday. I filmed three hairstyles and an outfit earlier, and right now I'm about to recreate this Pinterest pick. I'm wearing my ultra mini platforms. So let's do it because I want to try to do this before the sun goes down because daylight savings has me all messed up. I didn't get to finish filming my disco ball video because I keep missing the sun. This one should be pretty easy. I just don't know if I like this blue background right here. Maybe I should go somewhere else. I don't know. I just did a test run and I didn't think I was going to get it, but it looks like I kind of got it down. This is my test run. I think it came out pretty freaking good. You can even see the sun coming through. I'm going to do one more take just to make sure I like it. I literally have my phone propped up on some cleaning supplies because my tripod is just too tall for this. <gasps> oh my gosh, this is funny. Okay. <clears throat> I'm not giving up because I like the pictures, but I think they could be better. So I just found a parking lot where I can take some pics where the sun is still shining. So that's what I'm gonna do because mama didn't raise a quitter. Last try, here we go. I just feel like I could have shown my shoes more and that's the focal point of the picture. So I'm gonna try to do that right now. Happy Wednesday. I had a dentist appointment earlier and they numbed the heck out of my left lower side and it's still numb. So I feel like I'm talking weird. <laughs> But right now I'm about to film some outfits because I want to do that before the sun goes away. Oh my god. <laughs> it was worse. This is a lot better than how it looked. But it's 2.15. I want to film at least one outfit. Oh my god. You can totally tell. And, um, and then I'm going to film some hairstyles. But I stopped at Target first because I wanted to pick up these tank tops that I've had my eye on. And they were only $5. If I like it, I'll just grab it in a different color. Yep, that's me. And I have the pink one right here that I'm gonna pair with my platform Converse. Outfit complete. I love the gray and pink together. My lips are still a little numb. This is what happens when I try to make the duck face. Scary. This is what my disco ball is looking like. I think I need to put it closer to the wall. And the sun is at the highest point right now. So I think if I put it closer, see it goes higher, so. I put the hook a little bit too far out, but I can fix that. I did it, third time's a charm. I just need to cover up those two tiny holes up there. I don't need to, but it'll look better, so. I think it looks great. Happy Thursday, I just finished filming some hairstyles. My airy order came in the mail last night, so I'm about to film some content with my new PJs. These PJs are so freaking cute, I'm obsessed. I got a medium, I probably could have gotten a small because they are a little bit loose, but I like to leave a little bit of room for the holidays. <laughs> Plus my weight does fluctuate a lot, so. And I didn't want the top being too small because you know I have long arms and um, I think it's perfect. Sockies. These ones are really comfortable too. Happy Friday. My face mask and my pans came in the mail. I haven't opened this yet, so I'm going to open it right now. I thought the pans were going to be black, but they look more like a dark brown in person. So I don't know how I feel about that yet. I haven't used them yet, but... They feel really nice and we already threw out our other pans because they were so freaking bad. I'm gonna use the box that my face mask came in to send the Dyson to my sister. Oh my goodness. I am gonna look like a freaking Jabberwocky wearing this. <laughs> I am so excited to wear this. I'm gonna freak my husband out. So this one's special edition because this is what the original one looks like. I'm surprised it doesn't come with a case though. Whenever I'm not using it, should I just like put it back in here and have it on display? <laughs> That's kind of creepy. I should have had my new floor length mirror by now, but the TikTok shop let me know that they sold out of that mirror and they're supposed to restock it on the 10th, which is today. So it's only a matter of time before I have it. My hair is holding up really nicely though. It feels really soft and I plan on giving myself a haircut within the next two weeks because I made a hair appointment just to get some light balayage mixed in. I think that's what I want anyway. So I have color in my hair already, but I haven't had my hair dyed 
in over a year so i just kind of want to even it out on the ends i don't want to add anything to my roots anymore i just want to keep it focused on the ends and maybe add a little bit more color underneath when i was looking up pictures on pinterest i discovered that i want a non-bleach balayage because it's way less damaging and it still looks really nice especially on dark hair so that's what i'm gonna ask for this time when i give myself the diy haircut i'm gonna film it so watch out for that i found this technique that i've been loving the last time I gave myself a trim was the end of June and it's been about four months now So that means it's time for another one. I'm gonna end the vlog here and start a new one Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching it Make sure you're following me on all social platforms and make sure you're subscribed to my youtube channel. I'll see you next week